Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we have a Transformers 2017 Titans Return Hot Rod. And yes, he does have some breakage here. I got him from the convention like this, but otherwise he is 100% complete with his gun. So not a bad 10 buck grab, if I do say so myself. But now I'll get, get down to seeing him roll. He rolls very well. The only problem is the head doesn't work well in vehicle mode, as it does with my favorite, the Titan's Return Scourge. I would have loved if they were able to incorporate that with this, but they weren't. So, not all bad, but not a bad comparison, if I do say so myself. And now we're going to get down to transforming this toy. First and foremost, loosen the arms, like so. Flip down the grill, like so. Open this cockpit get the headmaster out because he's going to be the head head for his figure fold out the hands like so transformation is pretty straightforward and I got used to it automatically after I transformed it a few times so it's fun flip out these panels with the legs straighten them out flip out his feet flip these sections in flip out the foot Flip this in, and now we're going to work on the back. Turn this around, put it on his back, like so, and rotate his legs around. And there you got Hot Rod mostly transformed. And now we put his headmaster on, and now he is ready to go as soon as i can get his head to attach to his body come on hot rod's head he can't go anywhere without a head okay really difficult head to peg in he does have some paint wear on his nose it's not that bad but it is still pretty good looking oh we forgot to rotate the waist no one of those legs don't look very good looking but this is the best hot rod deluxe i've had since i had the universe classics You're probably wondering what happened to that figure he kind of broke on me so i originally had that figure but he broke after time poor design with the way he's designed but now hot rod can get double wheeled in this gun and go take this decepticons pew pew but the guns themselves split up so he gets some double blasters. Pew. Pew, pew. And not a bad looking figure from 2017. This figure is pretty amazing. Still to this day, it's pretty amazing. Not a bad looking hot rod. I love the design. And it's G1 accurate, which I like. But now I'll get down to some comparisons with some other Autobots. Here we got Siege, Leader, Ultra Magnus. We got RC. I'm still missing quite a few of the 1986 Autobots. Move those off to the side. We're going to compare him next to Titan's Return. Not Titan's Return. Legacy or Kingdom's Hot Rod, if you want to do a comparison with that one, which ain't half bad either. It's just not my favorite for a big scale Hot Rod. So let's see if I can get that to transform. And you'll see that figure in a moment. And here we got Titan's Return Hot Rod, because it's precious, Hot Roddy precious. And here we got Exosuit Spike, 
or Daniel, if you want to be Pacific, this is the Buzzworthy figure. Why not? Dare I say why not for a comparison. Now with Combiner Wars Hot Rod, which I do own, I don't have his Evolution Phase, which is Rodimus Prime. Rodimus Prime from the animated movie 1986. But it's on my goal to get a Rodimus here. But here are all three of my Hot Rods in one collection. Not bad, if I do say so myself. For a comparison, here he is next to his mortal enemy, Galvatron. And he's got the Matrix. Cyclonus. Universe classic Cyclonus, but still Cyclonus. And last but not least, Scourge. I'm going to transform him off camera. Get him ready for the comparison. Which I got his transformation memorized, and I just dropped the piece. Piece off of him. Happens when you're transforming these toys, you pop a piece loose unintentionally. Huh. It's just the gun. Whoo, that was a close one. We're getting Scourge transformed off camera because I got his transformation memorized here. We are going to do a diorama battle scene, Transformers style. But here we got Titans Return Scourge next to Titans Return Hot Rod. Huge fan of the Scourge mold, for sure. And now with some Season 3 figures. Here we got Hot Rod next to Headmaster Universe Classics. Brainstorm, and he is quite bigger than Hot Rod. And another deluxe Titans return figure. Hardhead. Why not? I like Hardhead. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And what do I rate this figure? This figure is still good looking to 2003 after six long years. I give this figure a 5 out of 10. And I like it that much. Zay Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.